Hi everybody, this is Konstantin Weinfeld. I'm back on YouTube and in this new harmonica lesson I'll talk about a tongue blocking blues. I already played this one in a video of me presenting the new Honor Walk at Low. Um, I'll link that one somewhere on the screen and you can check that out if you can't find the passage where I'm playing the tongue blocking blues. I'll play it again for you right now. This is my harmonica in the key of G and I'll play it in second position, which would be the key of D. So this is a mongrel between the Hona Special 20 and the Marine Band, made by Thomas Hanke, and you should totally check him out. He does an amazing job, and I'll just put the link to his website in the description box below. Um, so let's hear what the Tongue Blocking Blues sounds like. I'll try to break that down right now. So, first of all, it's important to note that I'm tongue blocking all the time. So, I have three holes in my mouth and I'm always blocking two of them. Which means, for example, I have holes one, two, three in my mouth and I put my tongue on holes one and two and blow or draw through hole three. So this is one example, but I also tongue switch if I'm playing hole one, blow or draw. So in this case, I would just put my tongue on holes two and three. So there will be some tongue switching involved in this tune. Let's start out with the opening phrase, which is... In this case I'm already starting out with the tongue in the right side of my mouth playing through the left side of my mouth. And right after that I'm already doing the tongue switch because two blow follows, right? So in this case I have the tongue like on hole one and also on the end of the comb right here. You have the octave jump to five blow. And then the double stop is pretty important because I'm not playing them straight. I'm coming up from the band. It's not. That's it. At this point it's also very important to articulate the two-hole draw because you're playing it two times in a row. So the second one has to be articulated in some way and I'm using my tongue to do that to separate these two notes. Um, although I'm tongue blocking, so I'm doing that in the back of my mouth. So after that, the phrase just repeats. So you're playing it two times. We are moving to the four chord, starting out with the root note, um, the G. And again I have the tongue in the right side of my mouth. And with the octave jump I'm tongue switching. I'm doing a little inflection there, so starting out on three whole half tone band.
I'm not directly moving to to row draw, but I'm rather playing three hole half tone bend and then sliding down from four hole draw to two hole draw. Again, only with tongue blocking. And again, we're playing with the one chord with the opening phrase. So now we are getting to the turnaround, so the five chord. Again, starting out with the root note. Another motif we are always using right now in this tune, the octave jump with the tongue switch. And then we are playing the third of the four chord, um, which is the B. With the octave jump, tongue switch. And then the famous lick in the end of a 12 bar blues. Ending with a tongue switch. And at this point, three hole blow is very useful. Otherwise, you would have that jump from four hole blow to two hole draw. That wouldn't be that smooth, so. Um, if you're playing it fast, it's way better to use three hole blow in this case. That's the whole thing, and I try to support the rhythm of the tune pretty much all the time to make it a piece you could play just with one harmonica as a solo piece. Um, to do that, I'm using the chords in front of the single notes as grace notes. Um, for example, if we have a three-hole draw in the tablature down here, um, I'm using one, two, three, draw just before that. So I'm not starting out with three-hole draw directly. Um, I'm just putting that whole chord in front of it. I think that's everything I can tell you right now on this tune. Um, I hope you like it and if you have any suggestions on new topics I could cover in future harmonica lessons right here on YouTube, just go down to the comment section below and drop me a line there. You can also ask questions on this one and you can write me an email if you're interested in private Skype lessons. Um, I'll just put my address in the description box below. So I look forward to seeing you and have a great day. Bye.